Hey, my name is Jonathan and I'm a PhD student in the School of Education. Hi, I'm Mavik. I'm also a PhD student with the School of Civil Engineering. Did you ever struggle with your mental health? If so, uh, how did you get through it? Yeah, I guess I had some low points. I think towards like kind of the first end of the first year, I was questioning if I should even continue with a PhD. Maybe I should do a master's. Um, so I think that was kind of a low point for me. Um, but after thinking a lot and having lots of chats to my supervisor and another PhD student, just thinking it through, I think really helped. Just giving myself the time to just think it through and um, take some time off. I also took a few weeks off just to explore my other options and to make sure like this is really what I wanted to do. And I think that really helped. And another thing that's really helped me to feel like a PhD student was actually doing some tutoring. And I think that really helped um, because it told me that, hey, I actually really do know a lot. I know a lot. I can give a lot of feedback to students. So that helped me, you know, feel better that I am here, that, you know, a PhD is really what I want to be doing and I am capable of it. Um, and I don't, you know, feel like a, um, what's that word? Uh, imposter. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't feel like I have that, you know, imposter syndrome mm. or anything like that. Um, so that's really helped. I think doing stuff outside your PhD as well, like exercise, chatting to friends, you know, family events, stuff outside your PhD can really impact your PhD as well. So keeping up your mental health um, outside the PhD is really important. Getting enough sleep, uh, exercising, eating well, you know, all the usual stuff as well as socializing. I think socializing is probably something that um, some people don't realize is really important for your mental health. Um, so making sure you keep up with your, your networks is really important. Um, for me, uh, yes, it was very daunting for me as well. At the beginning, I was uh, second-guessing myself for my e every stage, like whether I'm intelligent enough to do a PhD, should I continue with my study or not? Mm -hmm. um, so again, that was a very low point for me. But again, talking to your supervisor really helped, like let them know that you are struggling with something. Uh, they are there to help you. Uh, talking to fellow peers definitely helps. If you're exhausted, for example, by literature review, there's so much that you have to read at the beginning of your PhD, it's uh, excruciating. <laughs> um, so take some time off Absolutely. your PhD. If it's not getting into your head, just take a break from the PhD. Go for a walk. UQ has a lovely campus. What I used to do is like, nothing is getting into my head, all these literature stats. It's like, no, it's too much for me. I'll just go to the grid code grab a coffee and just lie down there for and hibernate for like half an hour. That gives me like, okay, um, maybe I'm not that uh, stupid enough. <laughs> so let's go back and rethink uh, how we can do this. And that little bit of break from the study actually helps you give more strength to proceed for the next stage. Yeah, I think that's a pro tip. It's really good. I'll take that one on board as well. Maybe <laughs> just go to Great Court, relax. Yeah, like, there's Great Court, there's a uh, walk along the river. This is fantastic. This small nook and corner, I have my favorite place uh, where I can hide and just disappear from the world. Uh, read a book. Uh, if you're uh, keeping a journal, just keep a journal. Uh, write a poem. If you're reading music, do some extracurricular activities. Take your friends and just have a chat uh, under the tree. It just helps uh, throughout your PhD journey. Mm, it's a good tip because I feel like I often I feel like the pressure like nine to five I should be doing my PhD. Anything like anything that's distracting me if I'm going on a walk, I feel like guilty a bit. But I think it's really important to realize that, that time just taking time off actually is going to help you be more productive later and make you feel better. So I guess for me I should take that advice on board a bit and just relax a bit more during the week. And Sometimes the PhD pressure do take over mm -hmm. your mental peace, but I would suggest like do enjoy life. Um, it's not just about the study, it's just about like creating communication with your friends uh, and keeping your mental balance healthy. Mm -hmm.